Time for us to leave the town and go in search of the Leprechaun's treasure. I sure hope nothing terrible happens to immediately derail my plan to get the treasure. Oh no! Magic creatures! Okay, we need to find all the magic creatures. Just click on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a snail with a hat. I want to know more about that magic creature. Okay. That looks like a magic creature. Ooh, that's definitely one. That's definitely one. That's one. That was just a squirrel. Squirrels are not magical creatures. All right. So that, there's a wolf there. I should be more frightened of the wolf, but I'm not. But I'm not. What's happening? It looks like someone's standing there. It's a banshee. Hold on. Oh, no. Are you all right? Let me help you up. Thanks, Liam. Watch out! The tree's falling! Liam? Oh! Oh no! The Banshee's coming back! Oh, it's not a Banshee. It's just Count Patrick. Oh. What's going on here? I hate Count Patrick. Hello, Shannon. It's incredible running into you like this. I came to you to talk about tomorrow's ceremony, but you slammed the door on me and ran away. I've been trying to catch up with you ever since. Oh. Uh, yeah, sorry. I saw you coming to my house and said, Psh, I don't want to talk to that guy. I don't love him. I'm running out the window and trying to find leprechaun gold instead. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so, I, I mean, the Banshee just tried to kill Liam. This is not a good situation. I was worried about you, but we can discuss all that later. I need to help your companion. Yeah, it would be kind of awkward for me to talk about how I'm trying to get out of marrying this guy the night before the wedding. I'll see how injured he is. Could you look for something to build a winch out of? We need one to lift the tree. Alright, so we need to find a bunch of winch stuff. Okay, so in winch places shall I look? Let's see, that's a thing. Beware, the bridge is being repaired. Oh no, oh... Oh, the bridge is being repaired. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna use a knife to open this. That means we have to go across the river on on boat. The Maros, the Maros, those terrible monsters are in this river. Yeah, that's definitely not good. That's not good. Okay, let's take a look at this boat. It's got some rope. Oh, hey, and those are all the parts we need for the winch. So let's put it here. Careful, I'll help him sit. I think he needs some bandages. Please, look for a first aid kit. Yeah, we're basically going to be spending all this video trying to get stuff to heal our buddy, buddy Liam. So let me grab the, uh, the two friendly foxes on the screen. It's too dark for me to see anything. I'll take that off. I'll take a look at the medicine kit. I'll open it with the snake inlay. Oh, hey, and that's some stuff which will temporarily help him. Thank you for helping me. But I'm afraid I can't continue on while I'm hurt like this. Ida, the healer, lives in the forest nearby. She knows which herbs have magical healing properties. Find her, and she'll make medicine that gets me back on my feet in no time. Ida is kind of like his adopted mother. We'll get into that in just a moment, but, but, yeah. I don't yeah. want you to wander the woods alone, but I have to stay with the wounded. Since you're going to look for a way to the forest healer's house, take a lantern with you to light the way. Oh. You know, this Count Patrick guy is not so bad. I wonder why Shannon hates him and doesn't want to marry him. He, he's been nothing but helpful so far. Let's see. I'm going to put oil on here. Gives me an old horseshoe, as well as those signs. Now I've got two of the signs. We're going to fill the broken pot with water. Later on, we'll come back and get some resin in here to fix the boat. But for now, I'm just going to use the pot to clean off the horseshoe. That will give me lots of nails. Excellent. The nails are going to go... Okay. Signs? Wait, what? what? Okay. <clears throat> Put the lantern in place first, then put the signs in place, then put the nails in place. Obviously, that's the order you're going to use those items. Obviously. Let's see, there's a morphing object and there's a morphing object. Let's go in 
to the forest. So there is Ida's hut, but it's protected <laughs> with a magic spell. It seems like magic. Maybe I can defuse it. I should examine this reef and try to defuse the magic trap. Okay. Where's the magic trap? Where? Left? Right? Right, here it is. Okay, so Ida, Glenna, and Liam. Those are the only three that can pass through the uh, magic barrier. And see, it says only our family. So that means he must be related to them. I guess Glenna and Ida are our sisters. Glenna, the helpful fortune teller, we, we met her earlier. She's a nice person. Okay, so what am I doing here? I am moving things around. So I'm gonna move the boar head onto the boar body and the deer butt onto the deer body. Deer there. Looks like, yeah, like this. Deer, pig, wolf, and fox. I'm guessing that's a fox. We definitely have a lot of foxes in this game. And this is going to be a somewhat long, complicated puzzle to get to the house. So let's see. I th think what I need to do is go here. Going around, basically going around in like a little circle there. And this is going to be a puzzle where we need to rotate the various pieces to form a little shamrock. Well, that rocks. Great. Then I go back. Okay, so I did that little circle there. Now I'm gonna go up like this, I think. Up here. I think I have to go left, down, down, and then left to this. This is a simple puzzle. You wanna find all of the leaves. That diffuses that trap. So I'm here, I wanna go to the leaf, down, and then back up. And I'm gonna go right to this trap this trap. Find all the missing pieces of the sun. Good. Okay. To that trap. Let's see. I'm going to left, right, down, and go up to the trap, and then back down. And I'm going to make a little loop of this area. And this is a puzzle to find all those blue circles. All those blue gems. Good. Good, good. And here I have to make a little circle here. So I'm going to go up twice and then down twice, making that little circle. That's how we diffuse all the traps and visit every single place on the board. Long, complicated puzzle, but we did it. Okay, let's see. There's a fox. There's a fox. Let's see. There's a morphing object. There's a morphing object. Let's go to the front door. Yep, oh, we've got a magic wreath. We need to figure out how to disable this magic thing. So let's see, what can I actually zoom in on? <laughs> Here we go. Here's the thing I can zoom in on. If you want to open the door, give each animal its place. Great, and we're gonna feed these characters later. That's, that's gonna be a puzzle. So here's the picture of the solution. And here are those amulets we got earlier. So, deer here, bear there. I mean, boar, boar there. What's that noise? Who could get through my traps? I protected my clearing from uninvited guests for a reason. Hey, don't be so angry. It's me, Shannon. Who are you? And how did you get through my traps? I'm Shannon. I'm like best friends with your sister, Glenna. She totally loves me, and I've got this talisman from your adopted son. Oh, it's Liam's amulet. Is he hurt? Of course I'll help. I'll start preparing a healing potion right away. Come in quickly, Shannon. Without my traps, any magical creature can come to this clearing. Pukas are especially troublesome. Their pranks have become more destructive lately. Excellent! And also, it's kind of bad that I destroyed the magical barrier, because now evil magical monsters will be able to attack. That's obviously not good. Alrighty. Ooh, fancy house. Fancy house. So, you know the potion which will cure Liam? I know a potion that can heal even the most terrible injury. But it's difficult to prepare. I keep the recipe in a magic book. Huh, sounds good. Is that your magic book shining? Wow! 
The book only reacts that way when it senses magic in someone. It's known me for a long time, so it must have felt the magic in you. Now I understand how you could get through my traps. You're the Shannon. My sister Glenna was talking about you. You have the ancient blood of the She and their magic in you. Okay, so they were gossiping about me. Only nice things, only nice things. Since the book has recognized you, you can open it up and take the recipe. In the meantime, I'll get out the tools and utensils we'll need for preparing the potion. Excellent. All right, so basically I'm going to make the recipe, and even if I wasn't a magic person, I feel like I would be the one forced to make the recipe anyway. Okay, a fox here, a fox here, morphing object here, morphing object here. Now let's open this book. Oh, that's right, it's, it's protected by a puzzle. Okay. Oh dear, alright, so we want to get all the red things over here, lined up on the right hand side of the board, so let me move this one, red one like that. Let's see, I'm going to move this red one out of the way temporarily. I'm going to move these things like this, I'm just moving them out of the way, just moving them here into the center area I guess. And now that frees up a lot of space on the right-hand side. So with all that space freed up on the right-hand side, I can get this red one back here on the right-hand side. Works well, works well. Now I need to get the final red one in into the right-hand side. So let's see, how am I going to do that? Going to make some room here. Perhaps move these all like this. Move that up. Move that to the right. And I've got plenty of room on the right-hand side for all the reds. Next, I'm going to try to get all the greens here in the middle. So let's see. I'll move one green here. Move a yellow there in the bottom left-hand corner. Move this green here. I'll move this yellow the left. So I've mostly got this puzzle figured out. Let's see. I'm going to move a yellow like that temporarily to free up a little bit of room to move this green in the way. Actually, I'm going to have to move the yellow out first, aren't I? Hmm. Tell you what. We'll go like this. Move those yellows out of the way. That way I can get this green in the center column. Move all the yellows back into place. It's not a difficult puzzle, it just takes a while. You've got to be very careful. So, there's no rushing when it comes to working with potions. You need to be accurate. Follow the recipe. Here's the recipe. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I don't know if this is an error with the game, but I don't know how to back away from the instructions. I'm kind of stuck on the book. Wait, what? Oh no! Shoo, Puka! Get out of my house! Leave my things alone! Well, no wonder I wasn't able to, uh, back away from the book. We were being attacked! The Pukas made such a mess, and they stole the ingredients. We can't make a healing potion without them. Man, that's the worst! I have to restore the protection spells around the house. Otherwise, the Pukas will come back. You're younger and faster than me. Catch that puka and take back the ingredients it stole. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, now I need to capture a puka. New, new job, capture a puka. Let's see, this is for the potion. You know what? I'm not making the potion right now. My new job is capturing the puka. I just don't know if I have everything for it. Let's see, I need that. I need that. I need... I need this. I don't have that thing. What? Wh where is it? Was it is here? Oh yes, we need to make some incense for those old gods. I told you we were gonna, like, deal with them. I guess we can deal with them now. Sure. Why not? Oh, there's that ugly puka. What a mean old puka. Okay, so they like incense and they like food. So let's give them all sorts of food and then give them incense. 
and this should give us some of the ingredients we need. Excellent. No time to lose. I've got my knife here. Let's cut the ingredients. There. Excellent. Okay, so those are the rare herbs we need, but I'm still looking for this. That's it. Haha. <laughs> I'm getting a cup of water. So, let's get our broom fixed. That that cloth goes here. And we're going to use it to make a little net to capture the puka. That's what we'll be doing in the next video.